Hello everyone, I call myself Zonaskind and I like to play Civilization 6. And uh, recently, something very new and very exciting happened. Phyrexis challenged us all with a challenge of the month. You start on a uh, curated map with uh, Pericles of Greece on the base game, so no uh, DLC activated. And it's a Renaissance era start. So uh, one of the first heartbreaks I had is that we couldn't build Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, couldn't build Colosseum, couldn't build Temple of Artemis, couldn't build Kewakesiwani, all those wonderful S-tier wonders that you uh, just love. But um, yeah, you start in the Renaissance era and uh, very quickly I uh, made a little plan around the two uh, Acropolises, uh, the, uh, the um, unique district of Greece, and then relatively early wonder for a uh, for a renaissance start namely alhambra um the uh, opponents are uh, amongst others rome arabia france congo uh, ended up being the uh, culture leader in my game then um in terms of pantheon actually do watch out for this because this is also a difference in base game i picked god of craftsmen which is usually one production and one faith and all strategic resources improved but it was actually only production on mines over them. So Alhambra uh, went swimmingly and that meant that I had good adjacency on my uh, first two Acropolises on these, uh, in these starting cities. And I also went out of my way to settle a city near Yosemite, an early uh, natural wonder. Um, because in base game you don't have to deal with loyalty and so I could relatively easy, uh, easily settle there. I got a religion which I did have to reload for because someone faith bought a uh, prophet. And then one thing that I would like uh, for access to address is that once you reload, all your UI mods are turned off, which I don't understand. I don't understand why um, mods would be enabled when you load into the game, but then when you reload into a later save, it gets shut off. Anyhow, you see me building Chichen Itza and getting to democracy. Arguably, I should have actually gotten um, theocracy because it's relatively hard to get uh, naturalists in base game. It, the first one costs 1600 faith, as I get Forbidden City. So with Greece's ability and with um, these two wonders, I now had a bunch of uh, uh, policy uh, cards. Great Zimbabwe as well and Bolshoi Theater. These aren't all in the same turn, but I'm just uh, cutting to them. Um, yeah, on Prince difficulty, which also wasn't changeable. Of course, relatively easy to get... Uh, a bunch of wonders which are uh, relatively early uh, in the uh, tree. So next to Yosemite I got a national park and uh, then also got Broadway in the capital for a big old culture boost and yeah then went for the uh, for the uh, culture victory. I ended up also declaring war on France to pillage some faith for the second and third national park Arguably, that actually wasn't the best idea. Um, one thing that I also really didn't know about uh, base game is that computers gives a 100% tourism modifier, and that actually is pretty strong. Um, so as we were in the last minute of this uh, video, I want to just give my thoughts on this challenge. Um, I hope and I expect for access to gradually introduce more and more DLCs into these uh, monthly challenges they want to do. Uh, probably to to uh, incite people to uh, entice people to uh, buy the uh, DLCs and I hope they do and I would um, appreciate it if they made it uh, so you don't have to do one specific victory but anyway thank you for watching if you liked it then do please leave a like and uh, we'll see you in the next video bye bye